More breaking news this evening. Joe Rogan, an extremely popular podcaster, announced on social media today that he has COVID. Rogan has said young, healthy people don't need to get vaccinated. In his statement on social media, Rogan said he has taken several therapeutics to recover. Turns out I got COVID. So we immediately threw the kitchen sink at it. All kinds of meds, monoclonal antibodies, uh, ivermectin, z uh prednisone, everything. One of those drugs he mentioned, ivermectin, is something more often used to deworm horses. CDC says there's no evidence it works on COVID. Its increased usage has only led to a substantial increase in overdoses after a push by some on the far right seeding vaccine misinformation. Perspective now from our chief media correspondent and anchor of CNN's Reliable Sources, Brian Stelter, and Dr. Lena Wen, CNN medical analyst and former Baltimore Health Commissioner. Um, Brian, this is obviously someone who has said on his podcast that, that you know, healthy young people probably don't need to get uh, vaccinations. What, what's he saying about his condition? Yeah, and he is one of the most influential figures in all of media, especially among young men. He has a podcasting deal with Spotify worth $100 million. But in the past, he has downplayed the vaccine. And in this case, he seems to have admitted he has COVID because it's hurting him in the pocketbook. He had to can he had to postpone or reschedule one of his upcoming stage shows. So you'd think the economic consequences might get people's attention and make people think, make, make his fans think differently about the threat of COVID. But he he's trying to portray this as if he is feeling better now, he's doing better now because of this cocktail of drugs and medications that he has taken. Of course, these are some of these are under emergency youth authorizations. Others have been, uh, you know, discouraged by the CDC and the FDA. But when you have a horse deworming medication that's discouraged by the government, that actually causes some people in this crazed environment we're in to actually want to try it. That's the upside down world we're in with figures like Joe Rogan. So, Dr. Wynn, uh, ivermectin, apparently given to deworm animals, it, it, why are people using this? I mean, I know, you know, it's being spread online and stuff, but why, what is the theory that it works? Well, I think there are some people who want to believe that there is a magic pill for COVID, which, of course, we would all want. But this is the main issue. So with ivermectin, not only is it that we know, or not only are we saying that there's no evidence it works, it goes beyond that. We actually know that it doesn't work. There was a systematic review looking at 10 randomized controlled trials that have been done, that were done in different countries, looking at different doses of ivermectin. And they found that there was no benefit for ivermectin in reducing mortality, death to COVID-19, no reduction in symptoms or duration of symptoms for COVID-19. So it does not work. And so when when everything is risk and there is no benefit, then this is not something that should be done. And I think the greater harm here is that it provides this false reassurance. People are now going about not getting mm. vaccinated, saying that they can do whatever they want with the understanding that there is this magic pill to save them at the end of the day, except that it's not a magic pill that actually works. And can you explain the downsides of taking it? Well, every medication has side effects. And in this case, especially because people are using doses that are totally inappropriate. I mean, ivermectin is used in humans for things like parasites and scabies, but those are at low doses. When people are taking them in the very high doses as given for livestock, for horses, for example, then they could get nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, severe skin rash, extremely low blood pressure, and permanent liver damage. You could also die from overdoses of ivermectin. And I hope that people realize this and heed the advice of public health experts mm. rather than Joe Rogan. Dr. Lena Wan, Brian Salter, appreciate it.